Hello humans, Dr. Kai here. In this video, I am going to be describing how to use the Places feature in the No Man's Sky Collections Backup and Restore tool by myself, Dr. Kai. So enjoy! Um, no Man's Sky does have its own bookmarking system for locations, and the way that is accomplished is basically by the portal menu. In the portal menu, you can revisit any station that you've been to before, you can revisit any base computer that you've put anywhere in the galaxy even if it doesn't have a portal and you can also visit a friend save you can go via the nexus etc etc however there are a couple of flaws with that system which have not been addressed since the game came out and they may never be so i invented this tool and this feature specifically in order to combat that basically it's very difficult to create a proper bookmarking system for all the wonderful saves that you find in No Man's Sky. Especially if you have my mod installed, the Gnome, uh, Gnome Anne with a Gnome, is it that thing there? Um, if you have that installed, that adds loads of different sky colors, or if you, if you have any of the other biome extension mods installed in the game that increase the variety, you'll end up finding loads and loads of wonderful places, If you're especially if you're a proper a thorough explorer who goes on long adventures, planet hopping, once upon a time, you'd have to put a base computer down everywhere, um, give it a name to help remember it. Um, there's no screenshot system in the game that actually works until now, as far as I know. Maybe it works for you, it's never worked for me. So it's very difficult to use the game in order to actually really create a good bookmarking system for your places and your locations. So this tool basically lets you do that. The basic workflow is like this. Wherever you have last saved your location, so if you just got out your ship after landing on a planet, so what you do first is you choose the right slot, so I just saved in slot 1. I then click add current place. And here we go, we have now officially backed up this place. It hasn't been saved yet, we give it a name, so it's actually this place over here, so what should we call it, Green Knights. Um, it's an exotic type, so we choose the type. Fortunately, this can't be automatically detected. We give it a description. Um, as you can see, there's an auto description, a bit like a signature, which you can set in the settings for places. So I always make sure, to, for example, to note the fact that I'm using the No Man's Sky mod. Um, I choose whether it's in my sharing area or whether it's my trip on the way to the core. I also say that I discovered it because you can share these. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, unfortunately, because I did that, everything got reset. So because I hadn't saved, that place is gone. Worth noting, I'll do it again. So we call it Green Knight. Type biome is exotic. Um, if you click the information button, you get a wider area for making a description. It's very encouraged to make good descriptions, especially if you're going to be sharing it. Um, for every different type, so I selected the exotic type, so now it's going to show me all the different subtypes of exotic. You can include one of those if you can work out which one it is. You can also include the weather, the geography, the terrain, the flora, the fauna. Basically make it easier to find these things, because we do have a filtering system as well as on the Discord, where you're going to consider sharing it. Um, it's got a default screenshot, but you can add a screenshot, so this is one that I took. Um, I can say do that, click save, um, and then I can even favorite it if I really like this place. As you can see, I'm just redoing one I did last night, but whatever. We'll click save, and that is now saved forever. Where is it saved? Well, it is saved in the My Places location. You will have had to have set this up the moment you start using this tool. There'll be a, um, a prompt, um, and you click change if you ever want to change it. And if we go there now, I've got it saved in a Discord because I share it with a friend, so he has access to all my places, I have access to all of his. Um, all the screenshots get saved over here as well, so you can just cycle through them. Um, not really needed in this. And this is the file here, it's 122 kilobytes. Um, it just contains the JSON from the game as well as the image in some weird code. Uh, I don't know, but it works. It's a very small file. You have more features here now as well, so for example you can delete it directly from here. You can see the thumbnail in its full size. You can copy it and you can go directly to the Discord sharing area. So if I were to click that now, um, it will take me to the exotic channel of the No Man's Sky Creative and Sharing Hub Discord, which has over 2,000 members. Um, I can now go over here and drag it in and a nice handy bot will display the thumbnail for me and also forward it to the all channel 
and I've got a link here so it likes to do that for me which is very nice of it but I'm going to remove that for now um, it will work eventually it will also say in the bot spam that I did it so people can see and give you a nice link so it's a very handy little bot, a very handy little discord, you're welcome to share your places here um, you don't just have to share locations of interest um, that are of, of, of aesthetic interest you can share your base locations, hub locations, points of interest so for example Loki is sharing these um, wrecks that he finds um, so a lot of possibilities with this particular feature now I haven't actually explained the main way of using this feature which is to now click this button so I've got the right save slot loaded um, if I wanted to say for example use my second save um, and move him here um, or if I had downloaded this place that someone else had shared here and I put it in my save game in my save places location which I just showed you um, it will appear here and then I can click move to when I click that button player moved get saved it, uh, it says player move down here, meaning that it's worked. Now I go to my game. All I have to do is go to options, reload, last save. It will only do the last one, whichever was the most recent. So in this case, it was my autosave. It tells me that it's worked because it did that just now. Click that button and I will now be in that location, which happens to be the location I'm in. So it's not a good demonstration, but <laughs> believe me, that's how it works. I should have chosen a different one. I'll do a different one now just to demonstrate that that works. So uh, let's see. We have a whole bunch of amazing locations. Let's try this one here. Um, we'll go over there now. Now, that's basically it. Um, this tool obviously is designed to solve the Planet Hopper's problem of not being able to bookmark. Um, it's amazing in that. It's It will obviously show you all the different pages that you have. You can cycle through them. You can filter um, extra filters like with, without thumbnails, saved, unsaved, favorites. So I've got Secret Garden as a favorite. If I click favorites, it will display that. We're on page two currently. These are my favorites. Um, I can clear filters by clicking this button. I can type in searches, so exotic. Um, and if I put a comma, I can do another search term, so I can do way. So anything that has way will also, it's like doing multiple searches within searches. How many results are being displayed is shown over here. I can sort by date. I can reverse the sort order. I can sort by alphabetical. It's a very handy tool, very useful. Um, should solve your planet hop hopping problems. You can now save all your locations and revisit them at the click of a button. Very convenient. I hope to see a lot of people enjoying this. I look forward to hearing some good feedback. If you want to know any more about how this tool works, I've left out a lot. How to save thumbnails in detail. There's a lot of like cool things you can do. Um, what all these buttons do, the backups, um, various matters like that. How to download and install. There is another video for that. Um, I have linked that in the description as well as on the screen now so go and check that out but in the meantime i'm dr kai this is no man's sky place bookmarking saving location thingy 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 and um, this is my tool and i hope it's of use to you please let me know in the comments um, or be in touch via email or on the download page and let me know how it goes um, i look forward to seeing your wonderful locations in the discord i promise you i'll visit some of them if you invite me um, and i hope you find some cool locations there for yourself so long, humans. ...to the heavens to see what secrets they hold. Join me as I sail amongst the stars.